Hello, my name is Victoria James and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and click the red subscriber button so it becomes gray and then you will become a J-Bay. And those are my subscribers who tune in whenever I upload to chit chat and all that about high end and luxury beauty. Today, we're talking about Thomas, darling. This is Tom Ford's latest fragrance called Bois Moroccan. I am wearing it now. I've been wearing it all week and I can't wait to talk to you about it. Now, before we move any further with this video, I just want to give full disclosure that this product was sent to me by Influencer. Influencer is a sort of product forum that is where you can find all reviews about all types of things that have been tested and reviewed by influencers <laughs> on the nano and macro level. <laughs> I happen to be one of those influencers and have been working with them since about 2015. So we have a long standing relationship and they um, sent this over for review and it came in this beautiful box here. In the front here it has the net weight which I'll just read to you which is 1.7 fluid ounces or 50 milliliters. This is an eau de parfum when you open your fragrance. It's going to come to you like this wrapped in plastic and then it will be sitting or resting in its beautiful uh, box here. So it does come in a clear bottle. Some of his fragrances come in a completely opaque bottle. This one comes in a clear bottle. It has the beautiful gold top with the um, almost amber colored cap. It's moderately opaque. And then, um, yeah, this, this juice is beautiful too. The juice is giving you amber or like a little like cognac. Very sexy. So let's go ahead and read the info card that was provided to me by Influencer to tell you a little more about the fragrance. Tom Ford Bois Maracain is a spicy, stimulating, oh, <laughs> spicy and stimulating. Tom Ford Bois Maracain evokes the earthy treasure of Thuya wood and the artisans who sculpt with the mystical material. Bois Maracain features the darkly opulent essence of the ancient Thuya tree. The scent uncoils powerfully, faceted with the spicy freshness of pink peppercorn and cedarwood atlas au pur. Key fragrance notes are Thuya wood, cedarwood atlas, and peppercorn. Well, let's talk a little more on a personal level about how I feel about this new fragrance, y'all. You hear wood, you hear spice, and you might think to yourself, oh, this is a men's fragrance. Sure, it could work for men, and it does work for men. My husband and I have been testing the product, and on my husband, of course, everybody's chemistry is going to be different, but on my husband, I smell more spice. Um, and on myself, I smell more of the wood. That wood is smooth, it is sweet, and it is sexy. Like, in part, th these are for um, something I'm doing with Nala's doctor, but you know, just ignore those. Mm. Oh my gosh. So, <laughs> oh God. So I do smell the spice, right? Like I smell it in the background, but mainly in the front for me is the wood. And even as the day wears on, the scent mellows out, of course, because it's been wearing on your body for a little bit, but it maintains that wood scent for me. This is not an overly complex fragrance profile. It's very simply focused on the wood. And then there's just that like background of the sort of supporting characters, if you will. So normally when I think wood, I think cedar wood, I think sandalwood, I think, you know, those I think men's fragrance. <laughs> but to me, this gives unisex. When you think of uh, unisex fragrances, right? There tends to be that element of wood in there or sometimes it's just super fresh and herbaceous, things like that. For me, this is super fall. This very much came around the best time. It also reminds me of another fragrance that I have. This is 1969's Casbah Eau de Parfum. 
as you can see from the juice, they're very similar. This one might be a little bit more orange leaning, this one a little more yellow leaning, but very similar. And the keynotes are sweet orange, ripe lime, white honey, geranium, amber patchouli, vanilla, tonka bean, guaiac wood, leather accord, and sandal wood. Those are the elements that call back, in my opinion, to the Thuya wood in the new Tom Ford fragrance. And so this one is very, you know, it's got those elements of fall in it, very warm. And it definitely is, when I'm smelling it right now, more of the sweetness, more of the gourmand is in the front. However, when this mellows out, I'm wearing it for a while, I start to feel that it's a little more akin to this one. This one is giving you what it is up front and it just, you know, dissipates gradually. I would say for the wear time, it's around the five hour mark. That's what I'll say. Which to me is fine. You know, give, decant a little bit to take with you in your purse. Um, this does retail for 200 and anywhere from 265 to $285. There's a one ounce option and a 1.7 ounce option. So, um, and I believe that's on the Sephora site specifically. So if you're looking at another website like Saks, for example, you can find the 3.4 ounce for more. It doesn't take a lot. Uh, doesn't take that many sprays. I sprayed four times. That is all. And I've done that every day since I've had it. And it lasts the amount of time that I've said. You can always prolong the um, staying power of your fragrance. There are ways to do that. But as far as just, you know, spray it on and go, that's where I get the five hour time frame. This is going to be a quick video because we're just talking about one scent. Okay, so that is going to do it for this video. I've really enjoyed this scent. I think it's gorgeous for both men and women if you're somebody who enjoys a unisex fragrance as a woman. Absolutely beautiful. So happy that this was sent to me. Uh, thank you so much to Influencer again. I will have their information in the description box for you as well as all of the places that I have found this product to be available for you. If you click through my links to purchase, please know that I do get a small commission uh, that goes back into the channel for both products and equipment. So that is the best way to support the channel, along with subscribing, of course. So make sure that you do that as well. Let me know if you like this type of content by giving me a thumbs up and commenting in the comment section. Let me know if you're planning to pick this up. If you have something that you think might be similar to it, let me know. I'd love to, you know, check out those fragrances as well. Let's chit chat and all that as we do about luxury and high-end beauty on this channel. And with that, I am gonna wish you a great weekend if you're watching this on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, and I will see you next time. Bye.